UFC Fight Night, Nama Yunus vs. Cortez, billed as UFC Denver, took place on July 13th in front of a sold-out ball arena in Denver, Colorado. The event brought in $2.37 million at the gate and another $7 million more from ESPN's exclusive broadcasting contract, not to mention sponsorships and merchandise. But how much of the pie did the fighters take home? The Colorado Combative Sports Commission does not disclose fighter pay information, so while Venom sponsorship and fight bonuses are released, the purses I'll be showing in this video are just projected based on previously disclosed earnings. With that said, let's jump into the first fight. Every fighter that's under contract, if you want to tell the media what you're paid, that's up to you. Kicking off the main card, an anticlimactic finish to what started out as an exciting fight, middleweight Abdul Razak Al Hassan landed multiple elbows to the back of Cody Brundage's head as Brundage attempted a takedown, rendering him unable to continue and resulting in an unfortunate no contest. Brundage earned $53,000 to show and $6,000 in Venom sponsorship, also known as Fight Week Incentive, and took home $59,000. While Al Hassan made $62,000 to show and no win bonus as a result of the no contest, $11,000 in Venom sponsorship, and a total of $73,000. In the second fight, Christian Rodriguez's striking looked sharp to start the first round against fellow featherweight Julian Arosa as both men traded lightning fast blows. Near the end of the round, Arosa caught a kick to trip Rodriguez and ended up controlling him on the ground. After a reversal that had Rodriguez on top, Arosa locked in a guillotine with a few seconds left to take the submission victory. Rodriguez received $33,000 to show, along with $6,000 in sponsorship pay, for $39,000 and the winner Julian Arosa took in $51,000 to show and $51,000 for the win, along with $11,000 in sponsorship and a total of $113,000. The third fight saw Ange Losa employ a heavy wrestling approach in the first round against Gabriel Bonfim, but Bonfim forced enough striking exchanges to cause damage. He punished Losa with heavy blows throughout the fight, and the judges' scorecards came down as a unanimous decision victory for Gabriel Bonfim. Losa made $25,000 to show, along with $4,500 in sponsorship, for $29,500 on the night. While Bonfim earned $28,000 to show and another $28,000 for the win, $4,500 in sponsorship, for a total of $60,500. In the fourth fight, Gian Silva looked the quicker striker in his lightweight bout against Drew Dober and opened up a cut over Dober's right eye in the first round. The fight never slowed down, and at the end of the second, Silva stunned Dober with a spinning elbow followed up with strikes that warranted the ringside position taking a look in between rounds. While the fight was allowed to continue, a second spinning elbow in the final round would put the nail in the coffin as Silva would go on to take the TKO win by Dr. Stoppage. Dober earned $115,000 to show and $21,000 in Venom sponsorship along with the 50k fight of the night bonus and took home $186,000. While Silva, still on his rookie contract, brought in $14,000 to show and another $14,000 for the win, $4,000 in Venom sponsorship, along with his $50,000 bonus, which boosted his total to $82,000, not including any bonus he may have received for taking the fight on short notice. In the co-main event, welterweight Santiago Ponzinibbio and Muslim Salikov went to war for 15 minutes in a striking heavy fight. Both men had their moments, with Ponzinibbio pushing the action with his pressure and Salikov returning fire with kicks and spinning attacks. The fight was incredibly close, and the scorecards reflected that when at the end of three rounds, it came down as a split decision victory from Muslim Salikov. Ponzinibbio took home $98,000 to show and $16,000 in sponsorship for $114,000 on the night. While Salikov made $55,000 to show and $55,000 for the win, $11,000 in Venom sponsorship, and left with $121,000 on the night. And finally, the main event of the evening, Rose Namajunas showed why she belongs at the top of the flyweight division as she defeated Tracy Cortez by unanimous decision. Namajunas struck first in one of the early highlights of the fight, scoring a knockdown off a left hook and causing Cortez's eyelash to fly off. Rose's striking continued to be a cut above for the first half of the fight. Down three rounds going into the fourth, Tracy upped the intensity, but it was too little too late as Namajunas would go on to take the win. Cortez made $36,000 to show and $6,000 in sponsorship for a total of 42000 again not including any short notice bonus. And the winner, Thug Rose Namajunas, took home $125,000 to show and $125 for the win, along with $16,000 in sponsorship for the biggest paycheck of the night at $266,000. That's all for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you in two weeks for UFC 304 Edwards vs. Muhammad 2.